Hey, Benjamin Soma here. I'd like to show you a few different ways to strum your chords using the Guitar Chord Strummer. Now, of course, like I showed you in the previous video, you can auto strum, which sounds great on its own, but a much more interactive way is to use the modulation wheel or pitch bend control on a MIDI controller. I like this one on the M Audio keyboard because it's very sensitive. And of course you can map it to any slider or knob you like. Or use a touchpad slider like this one on the push. The great thing about using a touchpad is you can circle your picking hand and do all downstrokes without having to deactivate the pick on the upstroke like you would with a, a wheel like that. Now sometimes I find that a shorter touch pad feels more natural to me as a guitarist. But you can also use an XY touch pad like this one. I have the X set to modulation wheel and Y set to expression. So we can do some dynamic strumming. And of course, you can finger pick using the chromatic notes C1 to F1. And you can even slide your finger across these pads. But of course, on the Linstrument, it's even better for sliding. Because there isn't the little space between the pads like there are on a launch pad or a push. Also, you can try the white keys starting all the way up at C7. Now, I like these little keys on this keyboard because I can actually rake my finger across them. Or you can use a semi-weighted keyboard like this one and do some beautiful finger picking. So there you go. Those are the many different ways you can strum your chords using the Guitar Chord Strummer. You can find out more about the Guitar Chord Strummer at BenjaminSoma.com. Enjoy.